Welcome back to Tampa Bay's Morning Blend. We love getting updates and seeing new change that some of our favorite restaurants make. And of course, if you're a viewer of the Morning Blend, you know one of our favorites is Dats and their entire restaurant group. But I'm glad we get to go back to the South Tampa location, the original. John joins us now, project manager for the group. John, how are you? How are you? So I, I got to take people into the conversation we were having before we got started. I'm like, John, where are you sitting? Because that's kind of unusual. And you say you've had to make some changes and are even taking advantage of the old parking lot, right? So I'm sitting at a table in the parking lot. So uh, with social distancing, we want to keep people, uh, you know, as far away from each other as possible. So we've kind of blocked off part of our parking to add more tables, additional seating. So everything kind of goes back to normal. I like it. Well, speaking of renovations, I know you've had to make the change there when it comes to seating and making sure you're filling those capacity requirements. Now, let's talk about the different look, though, that people may be able to notice. People were talking about doing that in their homes. You guys took advantage of this time and, and judged some things up, right? Yeah, we uh, we took the uh, the bar that was downstairs. It was kind of tucked away in the back of the restaurant. We, uh, we kind of moved that out front. Now it's a bigger bar area right when you walk in the front door. We added that bright, that bright orange color kind of everywhere in the restaurant, um, up into including like the uh, the air vents, uh, just kind of just have more pop in the restaurant. Um, we redid all the flooring, we painted walls. I just really, really try to take advantage of the time we were closed to do renovations. I like that you say take make more pop in the restaurant. I know you don't have to do that though when it comes to your food because that's definitely a great way to describe the food. What do you have in front of you there? So I have a couple dishes. So I have a pork shank redemption which is a pork shank served with uh, Brussels sprouts, and then it has a tomato and uh, paper, pepper demi-glaze. And then I have uh, fish and chips also in front of me. Um, it's just, uh, it's gonna be fried cod with fries, and then also an apple cider slaw. And that can also be uh, offered uh, vegan as well, using a soy-based protein. I like, and of course, though, when it comes to dats, I know this, people who have visited you know this, your drinks also get a spotlight of their own. I see that yeah. you're uh, cheersing early. Yeah, so I have a couple in front of me. This is the uh, Naughty by Nature. Um, it's more like a spin-off of margarita. It's done with a uh, mango, and it's served with uh, um, a scorpion as a garnish, which is a uh, food grade. You can actually eat it. Um, and then the uh, other drink in front of me is uh, Devil Goes Down to Georgia. It's made with Devil's River, Devil's River whiskey, and uh, it's done with uh, um, uh, cola syrup and peach bitters. Ah, Devil went down to George. I've actually danced to that song before. I love the names of your drinks, so I appreciate that very much. Let's talk about, of course, though, the safety and how you do keep all of your patrons in mind, whether they're carrying out, whether they do delivery, or whether they dine in, right? Yes, so uh, so we've obviously been wearing masks and gloves the entire time. We, you know, we were open for it to go when everything was all closed down. Um, City of Tampa has mandated that anyone coming in has to wear masks. Obviously, you can't eat with those on, but we do ask that people come in with masks on when they're moving out and about the restaurant, going to and from restrooms, uh, that they do have a mask on, um, just to, to be conscious of the safety of others in the restaurant. And John, I want to ask too, because uh, as project manager of all the deaths restaurant groups, we've been able to check in a little bit with the new location in Brandon. How's that going? It's going great over there. Uh, we've we've uh, gotten a lot of a good good reception from the Riverview crowd over there. It's been great. A lot of people were anticipating us opening up a little earlier. Obviously, we had to uh, push everything back with everything that was going on. But once we were able to open back up, um, it's it's been amazing over there. The crowd there has been great. Okay, John. So, of course, you talk about keeping everybody safe and how you can get your dad's food in many different ways. Let's make sure, share the locations again. How many are you up to these days? So, we have uh, we have three. Uh, we're out in Riverview um, in Winthrop Town Center, uh, South Tampa on McDill. And then uh, out in uh, downtown St. Pete on the corner of Central and 2nd is our St. Pete location. And then, obviously, we have Dr. Barbecue and then Doe as well. Always a lot of fun. We love checking in with our friends at Dad's. Of course, there's the location that John's at right now, that McDill Avenue location. Thank you so much for being with us, John. Cheers to you. Enjoy that Devil Went Down to Georgia drink for me, okay? Thanks so much. <laughs> Take care.